Hi, we arrive in the third part of our discussion with Vilmos Palha about the Bumbur disease control. Enjoy! Going now for the third part of our conversation, Vilmos, uh, we closed the last part talking about how to achieve the Bumbur control, displacing the, displacing the field virus and what can be the success to really have the, the, the disease under control. So, uh, I, w- I would like to discuss with you a little bit uh, how about the benefits of having this, this Bumbur control, to have this presence of the vaccine virus and not the field virus. But before that, I would like to, to discuss if you a little bit how what going to be the competition of the, the field virus and the, and the vaccine virus in the litter, in the environment. How is the, how is the association, or not the association, but the, the competition between both in the environment, how they, how they interact between them? As I <coughs> mentioned and, uh, and explained and, and uh, I, I just want to repeat again that mm-hmm. that the basic for protection against Gomboro is uh, fully dependent on which virus will be able to colonize first the bursa. So this is a critical point. The other uh, that a certain strain regarding vaccine or field strain what is the level of maternal antibody they can break through? In generally, in generally, when we consider the field viruses and compare to vaccine viruses, usually the, uh, the field virus has certain advantage. Either because it is antigenically different and therefore can break through earlier, higher level of maternal antibody, or because the field virus is very virulent, high virulent, again, it can break through high level of maternal antibody. But vaccine has a, a different advantage. This was the field virus advantage, vaccine has a different advantage, especially if we are using immune complex vaccine. The advantage is us that each of the chicken in a flock receiving the vaccine 100%, we can say, or close to 100%. So they can, at the moment, their maternal antibody decline a certain level, the vaccine start replicating in the chicken. And this chicken start excreting virus contaminating environment, but also giving this virus to their neighbor. If I compare to a, to a field virus, uh, the chance for the field virus is much less because the field virus, maybe one chicken or two, uh, will pick up the field virus in the proper time because the field virus also should wait until the maternal antibody will reach a certain level. So it will reach one, two chicken, this chicken start replicating this field virus, infecting another one. They are excreting virus, infecting another 10, 100 and so on. But by the time really uh, there is a burst of, of Gomboro infection in the flock, it takes at least one week. So that means that my vaccine, which I gave to to individually to each chicken has one week advantage compared to the field virus. Mm -hmm. But therefore, again, what I mentioned previously, it is critical, especially at the beginning, when we start a control program in a a place where Gomboro is a real problem, that at the beginning, surely, we have to take a lot of care about the cleaning, disinfection, sanitation. Because otherwise, the, the field virus is there from one day. Yes. They are start to infect chicken from day, one day. Surely they cannot infect from one day because the chicken has high level of motor antibody. But finally, they will find some chicken uh, with motor antibody, which is still higher 
and then what the vaccine can break through, but they can already break through. But as I told you, the dynamic, how the vaccine can work in a population level and how the field virus start working in a population level, it makes difference. Uh, the advantage for the vaccine, which I give to each individual, mm -hmm. has about one week advantage compared to that. So, if a VVIBD is able to break through so high maternal antibody, which, let's say, a vaccine can break through only one week later, so they are already equal. Mm -hmm. But we are playing with this, together with this, and with this program, Step by step, we will be able to replace the field virus and reduce the amount of virus. As, as we are reducing the amount of virus in the litter and so, uh, there are let, less and less chance to, to, to infect one, two chickens. So this gap even will be bigger and bigger from one week, it will be two weeks. And finally, there will be a uh, a big advantage and the winner will be the vaccine. But it should be a slick program, vaccine plus sanitation. And Vilmos, something that we listen more and more for the poultry producer is I don't have mortality, I don't have clinical signs, so Bombor is not present. And when we start to monitor, when we start to collect samples, we start to collect some bursas, especially for PCR, of course, uh, we start to see, start to detect some field strains. Okay. Uh, what's your point of view regarding that? When you talk about the broiler health, how, what can be the impact if we have the circulation of this field virus, even if the flock is not apparently sick? No. I think this is the, <clears throat> the most difficult part of the control of, of, of of Gamboro. And uh, this is related also what I was talking that today and worldwide more and more so-called altered uh, phenotype of Gamboro virus is occurring. The difference is, uh, is also uh, in relation to, to virulence or pathogenicity, but there are more differences regarding the antigenic variation. And the issue is coming that if these viruses are able to break through quite early uh, maternal antibody, mm -hmm. because if they can, if they break through quite early maternal antibody, this has a, a real effect. On the, on the chicken performance. The main point is mainly regarding the, the, the immune suppression they can cause, and by this way, uh, the concomitant infection with other pathogens make the problem seriously and so. So this is a, this is a really big challenge for our in the future. And I coming back again that, that in, in this area where we have this, it is absolutely critical that we have to make a strong, strong effort that combining vaccination, a proper vaccine, mm -hmm. and the sanitation and hygienic improvement of the hygienic and sanitary situation in the, in the farm. Because otherwise it will be very difficult. Or we have to, to, to find solution uh, with a, but it is, for the time is a difficult to have a vaccine strain, which can, without any, any negative effect, adverse effect, can take uh, at very high level of maternal antibody. But for the time being, it is, we have to, to try to keep this balance, that select the vaccine strain, which is still safe, mm -hmm. does not cause immunosuppression and adverse reaction, but can be taken quite at high maternal antibody level, at least uh, to prevent uh, infection 
at a very early infection with the field virus because if the maternal antibody is high, even the field virus cannot be taken. But today, uh, the biggest challenge, in my opinion, is that uh, more and more, uh, what I see, less and less VVIBD mm -hmm. and more and more so-called variant IBD, but variant a IBD is a, is a, how can I say, uh, it, 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 it doesn't mean, actually it means that variant IBD is antigenically different, but uh, uh, antigenically there are many different gumbrovirus. So sometimes we checked it, sometimes if we call Variant virus IBD, and I compare it with another variant IBD virus. The antigenic difference between the two variant viruses is bigger than between a classical antigenic type and the variant IBD antigenic variant. So there are many, many, and and, and this is increasing, increasing. So this we have to to very very. Uh, <laughs> Strong on that, that that in this area we have to take very much more attention on 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 the on the hygienic sanitation situation, biosecurity, and this this problem because otherwise it will be just by vaccination it will be difficult or not possible to to control this this type of of problem. And do you believe that this bumbore control will be essential for the broiler health? Against some of this strain, surely. I'm not absolutely sure that all strain which we can find in the in the field, uh, it, it, it really makes mm -hmm. serious or significant damage. But it is always depends, you know, it's very much dependent upon that what is the time of infection. But today, because of the, the breeders are well vaccinated and usually all the all the broiler has high level maternal antibody, usually uh, there are not not too early infection with the field virus. But but uh, because of this change, yes, we can we can see that sometimes there is we do not notice any. We see only at the end that there are very high antibody response and we had slaughter time and their production parameters is, is below the expectation. So we have to deal with it. But it's very difficult to, to make a, a general statement because as I told you, there are hundreds, hundreds of different strain of Comboro virus in the, in the world. What you have in Brazil it is totally different. What we have in Western Europe now, the, what we have in China, what we have in Peru, what we have in Argentina, what we have in South Africa, they are all uh, phenotypically different viruses because their, their evolution was, was different. There are these, these viruses staying there for, 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 for very long, very long several decades, several decades already evolving in, in a country, in a big country, like in, in Brazil, like in South Africa. They have for, for several decades back the same strain evolving. You mentioned about this uh, importance of, uh, of the broiler production and to have, of course, to have a, a stable production, a stable protection. And I think it's essential as well to, 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 to reach the, the prevention part, what we want to decrease the risk of challenge in the future, right? Uh, what's your opinion when you talk about uh, protection using vaccine virus, protecting or preventing the field virus replication and the impact of that in the in the population in the litter, what we can expect to find in the next flocks after that? We can say there are three 
major category of, of gumbro vaccine today available. Mm -hmm. The most widely used, and this is, which contains live gumbro virus. It can be a conventional or an immune complex. The other one, inactivated vaccine, which contains inactivated antigen, so it is not replicated now. And the third one is the recombinant, which is today it is based on HVT. The mechanism of that are different. The live vaccine replicating the bursa, occupying, and from that moment is prevent protect against any virus. The inactivated vaccine and the recombinant vaccines working similarly, inducing antibody, humoral antibodies, and this humoral antibody will prevent the infection of the chicken and finally the virus to reach the bursa and destroy the bursa. But this, first of all, uh, uh, takes time to develop enough uh, level of maternal antibody and the antibody they developed, it is behaving similarly to the maternal antibody. They are strained specifically. So if you have a, if you have a vector vaccine, which is expressing the VP2 from a classical uh, uh, gumbro virus, it will not protect against variant virus. On the other hand, as I told you, mm -hmm. live vaccine, after replicating a bruza, it protects against. So that is one point. The other point that if we are able to reach uh, to, to, to more and more replace the field virus by the vaccine virus in, in, in the environment, this will help to control the field virus and the evolution of the field virus. And then, you know, today there are many, many new virus occurring uh, because of reassortment. Reassortment between two field virus, reassortment between field virus, vaccine virus, and so on. So changing. So if you are able to replace the field virus and only vaccine virus will be environment, it, there will be no chance for this kind of, of change of, of the field virus. So it also will be a very important factor. But for that, to be able to achieve this, you have to do a very strict a vaccination program together with a very strict sanitation program. I think it's going to be related to that, but uh, to close our conversation, I would like to ask you uh, if you have any kind of advice for the vets in the field when the topic is controlling bumbor disease, which advice you will share with us? My advice is, first of all, that before starting and uh, establishing or designing any vaccination program, they have to know exactly what is the virus uh, circulating in the area, okay? They have to, to know it about. They have to carefully investigate their, their husbandry system, how they are. They are keeping on the same litter for years, the borders, or there is an all-in, all-out cleaning and there's infection and so because when you are designing a vaccination program, these are very important. Know what is the type of the virus, field virus I have in my environment, and what is my husbandry system in the, in the farm. And after you know this, you can design and, and make it tailored to, to, the, to the local requirement exactly tailored to your vaccination and control program to this farm. With that, we close our conversation. I would like to thank you a lot, Vilmos, for our conversation, sharing your experience, your knowledge with uh, all the people watching it and always spreading your knowledge uh, to the others. That is, is, is really nice. Uh, I'm really glad to you accept our invitation. We are visiting you in, in Budapest, in Hungary, and of course, receiving you in Tanino F Expert. So thank you a lot. It was really my pleasure to have this discussion with you. And I hope at least uh, that some of the, the topics I discussed with you may help to, to better control 
Gone Burrow. Uh, by the field. Thank you for watching this episode. And do not hesitate to give us your feedback by commenting down below in the comment section. Goodbye, stay safe. <laughs>